the amount of titles that you accomplished in jiu-jitsu. I think it was how you did it, you know, because it's incredible in a family of so many incredible fighters, you know, to be a member of the Gracie family, man, you have so many people ahead of you. And you're already born in that family. You are part of the history. But the amazing thing is, among all of those fighters, we have few that are able to write their own chapter in this amazing family that we have. And without a doubt, the way you did it, because everyone that is speaking, and I, I use this as an example of how important it is to have good foundation in jiu-jitsu, the basic techniques that allow us to learn more advanced movements. But I think you make the simple very advanced and the advanced very simple. Because every time we, we look and watch your fights, we, we in a way can tell how it's going to end because we know it's going to end. <laughs> Different than most of the fighters we see today. Um, I know Jiu-Jitsu has a lot of evolution, but I think one of the marks that you're going to live forever is that no one does the basic so advanced and so advanced and so basic the way you do, Jorge. Explain that to us, man, because everyone knows he's going to take you down, he's going to pass your guard, he's going to mount, and he's going to choke you. We all know that. That's why we all go to watch, because what is lacking today is submission. And that's why I'm saying all the accomplishments, the titles that you have, amazing. But how you did it, it makes above the, the chart. And it's incredible. How you were able to make the simple so good? Tell me. It's, uh, you know, I was thinking that, the, the, you know, the other day, like, a lot of people ask me, you know, what, about my jiu-jitsu, why it's so simple, you know, it's, if it's a family thing that they tell us to just practice the basics. I think that the basic is the, is the base of your game. You know, it's very important to have a good structure. And then that can support everything that you put on top of it. I think that's uh, number one. And, and I was raised with, uh, how can I say that? It's knowing the importance of the, of, of the basic. You know, it's, I think that was always very strong. And I need to have, you know, it's, you can have a lot of fancy and advanced moves, but you need to know the, you know, the, the simplicity, it's the, the exposure, you know, is the one expose yourself doing a crazy move that somebody's going to get into trouble. So, uh, and I think the, the one of the reasons that I developed the basics so well, it was because I moved to, to England. I was very young. You know, I was uh, 20 years old when I came to England and opened my school. So when I came here, there was, I didn't have people to high level people to train with. The only person that I had that were good high level, you know, my level to train was Bob Braulio, that he moved to England at the same time as me. And he, you know, he, we had the same belt, at the same age sort of. So he was my training partner, but he lived like two hours away. So generally I have to daily to practice with my students. And I was very young, I was still competitive, you know, competing in the highest level. So I didn't had, let's say, that many high level people to train with that they would come with fancy moves. So the way that I did it, I developed everything that I knew to the highest level I could. And I think one of the reasons, you know, it wasn't conscious, I think, you know, it's, I never, when, I never really knew consciously why my game was so basic because no one ever told me and I never consciously thought that I had to practice the basic. That never crossed my mind that, you know, the basic that's important. I never thought that. It was, it happened during my life of training that I, I developed the jiu-jitsu I had. So I was thinking the other day, you know, how could, why, why it happened. And I think a, a strong uh, part of it, it was because I moved to England very young. 
and I was too, you know, competitor. I was still want to compete against the best. So I just had to practice everything I knew to the highest level. Because one one thing that I want to, I, I will go back, but I want to ask you this. Because at your time competing, that you won, how many world titles you have? Yeah. Ten? And the opponents you have, they're not easy guys. They're all the guys that in your era you fought are the best of what we have with them, really good guys. And they have different games than you have. But it's still, you overcome all that, I wouldn't say fancy jiu-jitsu, but modern in a way, and were able with the very simple steps, shutting down everyone's game and succeed. Because a lot of great guys at your time, but unfortunately for them, it was Roger Gracie at the same time. You know, I mean, a lot of the guys, they could be a lot bigger than they are, they were, but unfortunately for them, it was your time, you know? And we noticed that in a lot of sessions in Jiu-Jitsu history, we have a lot of great fighters, but one outstands and overshadow everyone. And that was your case because a lot of guys that you fought, a lot of great guys could not overcome and with all the movements that fence or whatever they have against you. And that what makes so amazing is that basic that people always oh basic you come to share basic man if you know the basics you know jiu-jitsu and i think that's what people missing so much today is lack of the basic movements and they come up with so many movements that very few people can actually do 